So as we celebrate Black History Month, the elite members of the Divine Nine, and there they are, a special place is what they hold in the hearts of thousands of Atlantans. The Greek sororities and fraternities in our city are some of the most active chapters in the entire country. And while each organization makes its own individual stamp, they also come together when it counts. We do come together. Now that I've forgiven them for not pledging Delta. <laughs> but yeah, we are a united front, absolutely. Whether coming together or standing on their own, the ladies of these Greek letter organizations led the charge here in Atlanta for HBCU sororities. They were part of the Divine Nine, African-American sororities and fraternities birthed at HBCUs across the country. The chapters are big in Atlanta and their impact far-reaching. Our focus this year is a CHIPS program with in food insecurity for children. We're working with uh, City Council now and Michael Julian Bond on reparations for black Atlantans. We provide um, school supplies, um, book bags, um, sometimes we do computers, um, and other any other items that the children may need in the Atlanta community. With each group celebrating nearly 100 years of service, they say their mission is to inspire a new generation to continue their work. How are we helping be the voice for the people who are not at the table. And over a hundred plus years of all of these organizations, we're at every stage, and if we continue to be at that stage, you'll continue to have to deal with us from a different perspective, from the White House all the way down to the street corner, because we're present and we plan to remain present. Well, Atlanta being such a diverse um, area, I feel like we're able to reach out to all the populations. We're, we're not just for African Americans, Americans. We are citywide. And part of understanding how far they've come, these ladies know how to strut and stroll. That's right, that's what it's all about today. The stroll to the polls, where that was used to increase voting strength. If you're a native Atlantan, you will remember the Ebony Fashion Fair. Every little girl put on their Sunday best and came out to see Delta Sigma Theta and Ebony Magazine as they put on the Ebony Fashion Show. So this year, we're going to recreate that. We have one of the long-standing debutante balls in the Atlanta community. And so one of the things that Ada Sigma wants to continue to do is to um, bring, cons you know, maintain consistency in the community, um, be that ever, that, that presence that you see from year to year. And let's not forget their brothers. In the name of you, the male fraternity members round out the Divine Nine as these chapters keep on high-stepping through Atlanta. Alan Devlin, Atlanta News First. So those four women there mm -hmm. are obviously just the mouthpieces in mm -hmm. regards to the thousands and thousands of members all over Atlanta and all across the country. And we were talking about it earlier. Yeah. Service is really where they excel. Oh, absolutely. A sisterhood, a brotherhood. I have loved ones who are uh, members of the fraternity as well. And I can tell you, uh, much of their time is devoted to community service. So that's where they make a huge difference. Absolutely, absolutely.